Oh God. Ugh. Welcome to the channel. Everything is still laid out from yesterday. So what I'm gonna do first before I go through the sales, and there are a mega, mega amount of sales. Most of those Funkos have gone and a few other things as well. But before I get into any packing, I'm gonna quickly photograph all the things that I can. Like the Squirtle can be photographed, Powerball, Vans, some hats, scarves. In fact, most of that there can be quickly photographed, apart from the phones and the Motorola, because I need testing. They've been on charge or not, I've got a funny feeling they don't work. So let me clear this table, get the photos done. It's gonna take me 15 minutes, if that. And then I'll come back for some sales. We've got loads, Instagram, Vinted, and a few on eBay. Vinted's been the biggest this weekend. Work that out. Just plugged in the phones to test them, and uh, we've got two messages, so we're gonna play them together and see what weird and wonderful stuff's on here. Might have to edit it out. This is a message from Grace calling from Grange. Please can contact us on 46. Thank you. Tuesday, 10.07 p.m. Hello, I'm calling from Dr. Surgery. I will try you on your mobile phone. Thank you. No new message. Boring. Bloody ring the doctor's woman. So those walkie-talkies, I did notice it while I was at the car boot sale. It's on a Sony lead. I've plugged it in. I don't think it's giving it enough juice, so I can't really test those at the minute. So I need to get a lead for that. I've got some in that box over there somewhere, but everything else is pretty much ready to go. Alexa, stop. I've been a very busy boy. I've picked all the orders, I've printed all the labels, and I'm ready to go. But I've got a lot of thank yous to do, so I can't just put them straight into the box. We're gonna do these in zero particular order or whatsoever. Just start clearing some of this, this table down. First of all, the Switch and the Nintendo DS that I picked up the other day. I've sold the Switch itself to Lewis. Lewis, massively appreciate you. He said that his son keeps walking around the house with his and he's probably worried he's going to drop it. So he's going to give this to him. I've actually managed to find a charging lead for him as well. So £65 on that one. I paid the postage, so about £59 after fees. So I've £9 in profit on the deal and I've still got some else that sold from the deal and I've still got the DS that hasn't. But we're into profit now. Lewis massively appreciate it mate. Be on its way to you shortly. Mr. Benjamin Paris for Marks Tools has picked up from me. I sent him a message asking him some information on this. I had some rough information but the info I was getting was that this was worth £300, although I could see there was a variation difference, which is why I messaged him. Because he's very knowledgeable, he's always happy to help. At least I say to him, if you would like to let me know, please do. If not, I also understand, because it's a lot. When people message you asking you things, sometimes it is a lot, it does back up. So if you ever do send me a question or a message or asking for help or an idea of something, and I don't get back to you straight away, please bear in mind that quite possibly I might have a lot of those requests in my inbox and I just need to get around to them. So Ben, thank you for your information. And he actually bought this from me instead, £15 all in. Owes me nothing now from a big bunch of tools that I picked up a little while ago. Appreciate you, bro. I was going to say Ben and bro at the same time. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle has picked up the Winnie the Pooh Funko Pop. We are well into profit on the bundle now. I think so far I've worked out. I've so I paid 40. I think I'm so far up to £150 in sales. And I've only got about eight left out of 32. Kyle's picked this one up. I need to have the... Uh, the page up so i know the prices because i don't know the prices i don't know what the prices of everything i'll be listening to the godfather soundtrack it's fantastic always fantastic isn't it? um orders so this is all on vinted now so the last two were instagram and this is all on vinted so there's no fees on the sale but i will have to deduct tax six pounds 99 thank you cole appreciate you westy boy ben ben has picked up this Yu-Gi-Oh. i think for his brother or his cousin i can't remember exactly bro sorry mate but he's picked this one up sold for eight pound all in buzz lightyear and the alien from toy story this has sold for seven pound but it's gone to shell and dan and they bought a couple of things and i feel quite bad because if you think about it they've played postage a few times on stuff but still i massively appreciate you both both big supporters of the channel I'm going to try my best to see if I can find a toy for your doggy to put in the parcel. But they've picked up these and there's a few more to come from Shell and Dan yet as well. Massively appreciate you guys. Four pounds for this PlayStation menu. Menu? Manual. Sealed. It's gone to Fur and Fang, so I really appreciate you. And while I'm here, I want to give a big shout out to your hubby Luke. Which you did say it might embarrass you. I'll be told off for that, but bro code. Big up the pair of you. Massively appreciate that. Adam, that retro guy, has picked up the Beastie Boy t-shirt. I've got one that's packed up and another that isn't yet. But he wants this one as well. I haven't listed this one yet. He knows they were both there because he watched the video. I sold this Beastie Boys one for, I think, 7 dollars 
793. I was doing weird prices just to just to make it look like it's been reduced. Seven pounds ninety-three. He then reached out and said, "How much for this?" When I said, "Just give us a tenner, bro, and I'll stick it in the parcel," he said, "No, we're gonna send you fifteen. So I really appreciate the extra on top as well. So that's both the Beastie Boys sold. Now, if you remember, I paid three pounds fifty each. I made some money, but I'm still able to give you guys a good deal, mainly because I'm buying low enough. So Adam, that retro guy, massively appreciate you. They'll be on their way to you shortly. When the moon hits your eye like a bigger boot supply, it's a mori. Right, so those have been there. Turn them down. They've got that. Turn them down's got that. They've got that. Ben's got that. You've got the switch. Another £3.50 t-shirt was the Patagonia. Big spell out on the back, lovely hit on the pocket. One size too small for me, so I had to drop it onto Vinted. Tom's picked that one up for £15. Tom, massively appreciate you, brother. On its way to you soon. Here we go, just talking about it. Shell and Dan, yet again. They've picked up the Napalm Death, the yellow one with the big graphic on the front. £7.50, I think. Let me just double check that, actually. £6.99. The way I was looking at it was most of this stuff, £3.50. If I sell it for £7, it's double up, isn't it? Shell, Dan, massively appreciate you. And not only is it a double up, it's a quick double up. These, most of this sold. So we are on Monday now. I did the deal for the Funkos on Friday. Had them all listed over the weekend. Most of them are gone. T-shirts I picked up on the Friday as well. Just moving stuff on. Fast, fast, fast. The Rick and Morty bundle of six. There's a lot there. We've got one. Well, there's not a lot. There's six. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Loads of different variations of Rick. That's what you see on this channel as well. They have all gone to Brian, a.k.a. the Adequate Golfer. Brian, massively appreciate you for picking those up. The whole deal was £24.99. pence. He messaged and said I was going to make you an offer, but at that price, I just couldn't. Appreciate you, bro. Now, the rest of these sales, I don't have any notes or any messages attached, so they're just standard community sales, just on the Vinted community, not anyone is in my circle community, basically. I'm in the edit and I just noticed this sound of like smashing, but I have no idea where it came from. So I wanted to play it for you guys, see if anybody can solve the mystery. Like, what? Where's it come from? Basically. Pikachu and... Pikachu and... Pikachu and... Pikachu and Mr. Mime, they sold actually while I was packing this lot, I'm getting this stuff ready. They sold for £8 for the pair. The Pokemon figure that I picked up at the car boot sale, just gone, £1 paid, sold for £7.99. From the Switch and the DSi bundle that I spoke about, which I'm currently about £9 into profit for, we have sold the Mario Kart that was inside. I genuinely didn't know. He did say you could play Mario Kart while I was there. I saw it on the edit, but I just I thought it was downloaded or something. I don't really know how Switches work. I'm not really massively up to date with all the new stuff, all right? But that sold for £18 all in. So now we are, what, 25 quid into profit? And I've still got the broken DSi to sell. And we've done that fast. It's Monday. That car boot was on a Saturday. Champion hat, brand new and tags. I paid, I worked out about £2.25 from a bundle deal. Sold it for £4 on vintage. Sat around for ages. Funko Jack, whatever he is, sold for £8. Bundle of four, Dragon Ball Zs. There's four of them there. It's different Super Saiyans, Goku, a few different ones. I don't actually know what they sold for. £24.99 on them. Beautiful. The Dragon Lego that I got from John's stream. I just bought it for the sake of buying it because it's John and we like to support each other. Well, I like to support him. Nothing's brought anything off me for ages. Paid £9 on his stream plus postage. Sold it for £18 and 34 pence on Vinted. Groot has sold for £4.99. Kenny has sold for £9.89. Sold the Fred Perry shoes that I paid £2 or £3 for. £8. £1.80 for this Sony PSP lead. £15 for the Master of Darkness case on the Master System. Case only. I said cart. I said case, didn't I? It's the cart only, no case. And looking around, I think that's it. So let's move on to eBay. In fact, I'm going to get some of these packed up first. Then I'll come back and show you the eBay sales. It's hard work trying to keep up. Oh, baby. Postage, Vinted and Instagram done. Now it's time to move into eBay. I'm going to be doing a giveaway on this video as well because a lot of them have gone unclaimed. So we need to clear them out and get some new stuff in. It's very bright out there. I can't remember what I paid. Was it £3.50 or something? I can't remember for this Anheuser-Busch Budweiser Beerstein. This is sold to Stephen. There's a note on the order. 
Stephen says, hi, Ricky. Great channel and keep up the good work. Stephen, I massively appreciate you grabbing this from me. It'll be on its way to you shortly. This has sold for £22.49 all in. All of my prices on eBay when I talk about it are all in. Deduct some eBay fees and postage, of course. That's going to be probably under the two to five bracket once I've done it. So four or five quid. A lot of you asked me for this one. I do apologise because I forgot who wanted it and I just couldn't keep up because there was about six or seven. And me trying to find them amongst other stuff is impossible. But I've sold the crazy frog keyring. Paid 50 pence for this, I think. It sold for £22.99. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Bing, 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 bob, bob. Sorry about that. £8.99, all in, Disney Pascal, what's it called again? Disney Tangled Rapunzel Pascal, so his name is Pascal from Disney Rapunzel, I think, paid 50p. I went into town the other day to get my, uh, I went into town the other day to get my SIM card switched over and while I was there I hit up all of the local, all of the charity shops that I used to go on my barber run. So when I was a barber back in the day, I used to do reselling as a side hustle, but I say hide side hustle, I used to put the same amount of hours in as I did barbering. I'd go and spend eight or ten hours at the barber shop, and then I'd come home and spend another six or seven at home. So I spent a lot of time doing it because I knew what I wanted to do. But anyway, I used to go to all of them shops on my lunch break, all of them. So I did the rounds. They are spenny now, but I did find something. This is a, I'll put a screenshot up because obviously I was blacked up, I can't see it. This is a Mortal Kombat official walkthrough guide with 22 like or 28 character cards on it. Paid a pound for that. Sold it for £35.99 all in. 2002 Reading Top, the last one to go now. This has sold for £49.94 pence all in. Paid a fiver. I've sold everything now. What did I get out of it all? 75 plus 50 plus 30. Like 140, 150 odd for a £15 spend. Not bad, is it? This is sold to Jessica. I really appreciate you. This is a... I need to take it out because I need to wrap it up better anyway. I just had it in this while it was sat in the drawer. This is a very small, genuine silver, like a small lid thing, probably used for like ink or baby teeth or something like that, I'm not too sure. She sent me a lovely message giving me tips on how to actually get the silver to shine up. I said, thank you so much. And then I think she thought, do you know what? I'm gonna buy that and I'm gonna shine it up myself. 16 pounds and 20 pence all in. Thank you so much. And one of the last of the cassettes now has sold. This is the Earth one or something. Planet Earth, now and later. It's extreme skateboarding. Remember I picked up a big bundle for a tenner. This one has sold for £24.98. pence. So I think Vinted beat eBay this weekend, don't you? But we are going to do a giveaway now. Bear with me. So as you can see, these are all unclaimed. All unclaimed Lego, unclaimed Chima, unclaimed Barbie stuff from McDonald's. That's a really good little giveaway. This has all been drawn and won before. You've got to claim it, man. You've got to claim it. So let's try and spice it up a little bit and add two things. And if you come back to me now and say, oh, I've, well, but I won this one three weeks ago, I just realised. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. So today's giveaway is going to be the Japanese Pokemon packet and the Lego Stormtroopers minifigure. That's a nice little one, that is, isn't it? Oh, notifications. Don't forget to leave feedback. Yeah, it won't. Lego Stormtrooper and Japanese Pokemon packet. Both brand new and sealed, both unopened. Fantastic little deal, that is. Comment down below. If I were you, I would. There you go. If I was you, I would. And the rest is up to you. Take care. See you on the next one. Good luck and bye. Imagine not claiming free stuff, just weird. <laughs>